All right, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna try something uh, that I've done before, but it's a different concept. I'm gonna be refining uh, gold-filled watch bands. The difference is, I found these on eBay, uh, quite a few of them, I've got to wait on them. Uh, this whole lot was $45. But my thought process is, these are brand new old stock, so the gold material is immaculate. Um, they're brand new, basically. They've never been worn. So my whole thought process was, there's probably still a good amount of gold material on these. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to refine these watch bands and see what we're left with. I will get these weighed up and I will let you know what they weigh. And then we're going to start removing these little, uh, little gold caps. So let me get a weight on these and I'll be right back. All right, so the total weight is 160.63 grams. Um, and I did tear out this plastic cup. So that's a pretty good deal, actually. I got a really good buy off this on eBay. I might actually make money off this, so we'll see. All right, so these are the gold-filled watch bands and I'm gonna show you how to take the caps off. Use a pair of cutters. On the end, pull up, remove the cap, and then once you get the first end cap off, the other ones are easy. You go to the side, you pinch them on the side, and you just peel them off just like that. And on the bottom of most of the bands, this is where you'll see the gold filled marking. So this is 1 20th the weight of the band, 10 carat gold filled top. So the tops only are gold filled. Now they also have uh, brass and other things in them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these tops once we're done. I'm gonna get a weight on them to see what they weigh. Then I'm going to incinerate them. I'm going to use a torch just to clean them up a little bit. Then we're going to put them in dilute nitric acid. 64.67 grams is what the tops weighed. Uh, and I teared out the uh, weight of that container. So 64 grams of gold-filled watch tops. Anytime you work with uh, refining gold-filled material, you always want to uh, heat it up a little bit. You want to incinerate it a little bit. So I'm going to heat it up just a little bit. You want to get it till it turns gold, basically. I mean red. You want to melt off any organics. That should be good. I have a little bit more I'm going to put in this melt dish. I'm going to keep uh, heating it up. And then we're going to put it in some dilute nitric acid. So I added about 200 milliliters of distilled water. And for every gram of gold-filled material you have, it's going to take approximately 3.5 milliliters of nitric. So this is around 60 grams. So we're looking at around... 180 or so milliliters total of nitric. So I put this distilled water on some heat. I'm gonna start off adding mm, around 50 or 75 milliliters of nitric. This is gonna start removing the base metals. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna add about 100 milliliters. I'm going to let that start cooking up and it'll start removing all the base metals and leave behind the gold. Then once we have the gold flakes, we're going to put the gold flakes in aqua regia.
I've allowed the dilute nitric solution to cool down and settle out overnight. I'm going to decant that into my waste solution bucket and we are going to add more dilute nitric acid because there's definitely still base metals in there. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. If you look carefully, you can see a lot of really, really, really fine gold foils floating around in the solution. So it's going to be pretty hard to decant. I'm probably going to, once this is finished, I'm going to put it in a filter, uh, just these gold foils, and then I'll rinse that filter out with distilled water, and then we'll get the gold foils once it's finished uh, cooking down in some, uh, some solution, some aqua regia. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Once you get no more reaction on the gold-filled materials, you are going to get a filter and you're gonna filter the solution off of the gold-filled material. And this solution is just gonna go directly into my waste container. Um, the only thing I put in my gold uh, recovery container is after we precipitate the gold, that solution we put in. But this just goes directly in my waste container with the copper. So I'm gonna go ahead and filter this off and I'll be right back as soon as it's filtered. So the gold filled material can be deceptive. Uh, I wasn't getting a, re a reaction. And then as I was filtering it off, I mixed it up and I noticed there was definitely still base metals. So I cleaned it out really, really good. And I put it back on dilute nitric and it looks like we're starting to get a reaction. So I'm gonna continue cooking this down for probably an about another hour or so. As I'm videoing this, uh, one of the viewers responded about not having the corning wear and you're a hundred percent right. I mean. I'm literally right about to have a boil over. I turned the heat down and it's starting to go down, but uh, you guys are right. I'm going to go to probably the, the store and, or even the uh, Salvation Army and see if I can just grab a couple cheap corning wares because I've needed one for a while. You can see how light and fluffy the gold foils are now floating on top. So I'm completely changing my plans. I'm going to try and experiment. I had a viewer ask about um, putting gold-filled material in a crucible. Um, this was already treated with dilute nitric acid to get rid of the base metals. I incinerated it. That silver material on top is bismuth, uh, which is apparently less toxic and a little bit more pure than using lead. Um, I do not have enough room to put all the gold-filled material, but I'm going to see if this will melt down a little bit, and then I can add some. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it in my furnace, heat it up, and we're going to see what happens. All right, it's been cooking at 2,000 degrees in a Q-Pow. Uh, let's see how it's going. Ooh, hot. Hot. It is going good. Um, still has a good amount of material left. I'm going to give it about another 30, 40 minutes and then see. See how it came out. Looks like it's working pretty good, actually. It looks like we have a bead. So after cupelling the gold for some time, uh, this is what we ended with. I would say this is almost pure. Uh, it's not three nights fine, but almost pure 24 karat gold. Uh, it's cooled down, so I'm going to take it out of the cupel. Got a nice little bead. I don't know if I would recommend this method again. It was, it was quite a bit of work. Uh, it actually took quite a few cupels. Um, I think it's actually easier just doing it traditional nitric, you know, uh, dropping it with SMB, 
using aqua regia for gold filled material. So I'm just going to do some quick math on what I think this uh, should be, and then we'll see what it actually comes out to be. So I had 160 grams of gold filled watch bands, 10 carat, 1 20th, uh, 1 20th of the weight uh, is pure gold. Came out to once I pulled the tops off, 64 grams gold filled tops, 10k 1 20th. Now correct me if I'm wrong, and I hope someone chimes in on the comments. The 1 20th, that's what percentage of this is pure gold. I believe it's 1 20th out of the gold filled top. I'm almost positive that's what it is. I don't believe it's the total weight of the watch band. I just think it's of the top. So using that math, 1 20th of 64 grams should be 3.2 grams of 10 karat gold. And then once we refined it down to pure, I did 3.2 grams and I multiplied it by 0.41 since 10 karat gold is 41% pure. And I estimated I should get around 1.3 grams, uh, give or take. So I don't know what I actually got yet, but I'm assuming this looks to be right around a gram and a quarter. So let me grab my little scale, get it in frame. zero it out and we have exactly 1.31 grams so uh if that's the case then we are dead on the money with my calculations i estimated 1.312 and i got 1.31 uh this scale doesn't go in uh it only it only goes two decimal plates over decimal places over so if that's the case, then I'm dead on the money with my calculations. So please comment in the video if you know if the weight is actually the gold-filled tops or the total band. I find it very hard to believe it's the total band because that would be quite a bit of, of gold, and I really don't think it's that much. I really think it's just of the tops. So again, like I said, this method did work using cupelling to refine gold-filled material uh, I still believe in order for this to work, you do have to get rid of a lot of the base metals, though, by using dilute nitric acid. You might be able to do it without. I don't know. I didn't try that. I mean, maybe I could try it in another video. So again, uh, we got pretty much what we were supposed to get. I think one of the reasons we're so dead on the money with the numbers, too, is like I said, this was brand new material. These watch bands were brand, brand new. Uh, a lot of the watch bands you get, I mean, you know, they're 60, 70, 80 years old, and a lot of the material is already worn off. So this is brand new, and thank you very much uh, for watching this video. And I just want to show you this, too. I took a little bit of my bismuth, and I created a little, little bismuth crystal. Uh, really neat-looking crystals. The bismuth is really, really neat. Look at the colors on that. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.